This video describes decompression of the posterior horn of the medial meniscus based on arthroscopic findings during deep flexion of the knee joint. A small transverse tear is recognized in the posterior horn of the medial meniscus of the right knee joint through the anterolateral portal using a 45-degree arthroscope. When the infrapatellar fat pad hinders arthroscopic examination of the posterior horn of the medial meniscus during deep flexion of the knee joint, the infrapatellar fat pad is partially resected using an arthroscopic shaver. The adduction deep flexion test with the knee joint internal rotated shows that the medial femoral condyle lifts off from the medial tibial plateau and the posterior horn of the medial meniscus emerges. The same test with the knee joint externally rotated showed that the liftoff of the medial femoral condyle was recognized and the posterior horn of the medial meniscus emerges. A partial meniscectomy of the tear site is performed. Decompression of the posterior horn of the medial meniscus is going to be performed. An incision is made between the medial head of the gastrocnemius and the posterior oblique ligament. The proximal posteromedial capsule and the medial part of the femoral attachment of the medial head of the gastrocnemius are released from the femur using a scalpel and a raspatory. An osseous bulge is recognized on the posteromedial surface of the distal metaphysis of the femur. First, the bone tissue is resected to the deepest point of the planned alcove using a burr. The resected area is palpated to determine how much more resection is needed. Then, bone tissue around the alcove is removed. The surface of the excised bone tissue is smoothed using an electrical reciprocating rasp. Part of the posterosuperior articular cartilage needs to be resected in almost every case when the alcove is made. Adduction deep flexion test with the knee joint externally rotated shows that the posterior horn of the medial meniscus is no longer visible during deep flexion of the knee joint. The test with the knee joint internally rotated also shows that the posterior horn is not seen during deep flexion. The capsule and medial head of the gastrocnemius is reattached to the original position. The incision then closed in layers. Thank you for watching our video.